Welcome to my New York apartment. So we have a shoe rack there and a lot of closet space. We have a place for our backpacks and a little mirror here. First, we'll go to the bedroom and we have a queen size bed and a nice lamp over there. And over here, we have the view in my closet. And here's the restroom. Next, we have the kitchen. We like our island here with our bar stools, our fridge, our oven, and this towel that I collect from every city. And here's our living room. It's pretty spacious and we have some nesting tables here so you can tuck that one under. Our TV is kind of small, but it works. And we have our couch here with a fluffy ball pillow. The aesthetic we were going for is white and gold furniture, as you can see here. And you can get them all on Amazon. Here's my new office space. I've been making full use of my ClassPass trial. This week, I'm working on creating a data dashboard in Looker. First time doing the aerial silks class. After boxing and trying aerial silks, I have even more respect for all these different sports and how much energy and strength and technique it takes for each. I'm walking to Vital Brooklyn to go climbing. Got some climbing in and got boba from a tiger head. On Thursday, I started learning Lookabell, which stands for Looker Modeling Language. This is where you can create relationships between different variables and create a dashboard. From here, you can filter on different variables and create visualizations. It will also produce SQL code, which you can use and modify as needed. This is what the LookML code looks like. The dimension is the variable and you have to specify the type, whether it's numeric, a time, or a count. I also tried berries for the first time. They're known for high intensity workouts in the famous red room. This is an example of conditional rendering using an if else statement. I made reservations for Ari Ari two weeks in advance. Unique Korean food that you can't find anywhere else in New York. The best thing was the fish roe bibimbap. But I was salty that the eggplant was too salty. I want a pair of Aladdin Broadway tickets. I had brunch with my mentorship group and did Pilates. And rewarded myself with some dessert at Cray Street. Chouquette is an amazing Mediterranean place. They're known for their fish in a cage. Couldn't get Taylor Swift tickets, but I can soul cycle to her music. A trip to Chinatown means good food and trying Asian-inspired ice cream. And spontaneously buying a myrtle plant. Happy Monday! Today I worked on creating a dashboard in Looker using different tiles and visualizations from my data. I'm also doing the second part of a project where I'm looking at the different primary conditions that a client has. This is what my paper would look like. The workday is almost done. These are important graphing libraries you need to know in Python. You might need to show the distribution of your data. Boxing gloves! Putting my new gloves to good use. Ending the night with more relaxing activities like journaling. I'm going to try to knit a sweater. I've made scarves before, but I've never made anything complex. Casting on stitches with a long way to go. I'm meeting with another analyst to talk about how we're going to integrate variables into this new model that we're building. It's important to make your code run for other use cases, so you're saving time. Tried kickboxing for the first time and bought a new plant. Wednesdays means working in the office and enjoying three monitors. At my first dance class in New York. One of my favorite class pass classes was to learn surfing. Today and tomorrow, I don't have any meetings, just a mindfulness session. After
After analyses, it's common to answer follow-up questions and set up meetings with the data science team. Sadly, my class pass trial came to an end, but I tried 10 different classes. Part of being a data analyst is prepping for presentations. Free green juice from the building for St. Patrick's Day. So this is for the head and that's for the arms. Had Korean food and enjoyed the festive green lights for St. Patrick's Day. Headed to a hit class by the building. A workout, breakfast, and more green juice. It's a bright and sunny day to walk across the High Line. Peruse the artwork of the Chelsea Market. Satisfying my sweet tooth with a scoop of gelato. Sprucing up my apartment with one final touch.